Hello YouTube, welcome back. This is part seven of my series on utilizing Blender as a video editor. Today we're gonna to talk about overdrops or overlays for your video. Now, in order to create an overlay, what we need to do is utilize a raster program like GIMP in order to generate a transparent PNG file that will nicely overlay over our video on every single frame. Now, the first thing that you need to do before we actually go to the GIMP program to create our overlay is we need to figure out what the resolution of our video file that we're going to overlay is set to. Right now, I know that mine is set to 1280 by 720. Uh, make sure that you verify this by looking at the properties of your video. Uh, you, on Linux, you can actually go to the properties on uh, Windows and Macintosh, you can use VLC to look at the properties. Now, we're set to 1280 by 720 video. I need to make an overlay that has the exact same resolution. So let's switch over to GIMP, which is what I'm using, and let's make a new file that will be 1280 by 700, 720 resolution that has a transparent background. There we go. Let's zoom out. In GIMP, you zoom out by s clicking Control and zooming down on the mouse wheel, just so we can see this better. Now, this is the exact same resolution as the video source that we're actually going to overlay. So I can actually just place my imagery or the words or text or whatever at this, the location here, and it will show up on the video at this exact location, or here, or here, or here, or wherever you like. I'm actually going to put a logo down on the bottom left. So let's just add my name. I'm going to, going to just make a very large font, and I'm going to turn it blue. Why not? And I'm going to place it here. Say, Mikey Cal. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to filters and I'm going to add a drop shadow. So there we go. In order to see the drop shadow better, I'm going to show you it with a background. So I'm going to add a white background temporarily. And you can see it has a little bit of gray behind it. It's not perfect, but this will do. Let's delete that over here. Okay. So all I need to do really is save it like this. I, I save it with a transparent background. File save. Actually, in GIMP you need to export it. If you click save, it will save it as an XCF file, which is the default file type of GIMP. You need to go over to export. You need to type in the name that you want to use. I'll call it overlay.png and I'll export that. Okay. Now I can close this. I'm done making my overlay. And we're back in Blender. Now it's pretty simple to actually add this overlay. All I have to do is I go to add down here on this menu and I select image and I go to the folder that I have it in, and that would be in Documents and Overlay. There we go. And there's the actual overlay in the preview screen. I'm zooming with my mouse wheel. Here it is. Here's the strip for the overlay. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to click my mouse and my mouse wheel and drag it. And you can see this is where the actual overlay image is located, showing you which frames it's over. I'm going to drag it as far as I want it to cover, which I want it to cover every frame. So let's just, let's zoom this out. We won't do every frame. We'll just take it far enough so I can demonstrate this. So we'll take it to 260. So you're looking here and you're probably wondering, oh, if this is an overlay or an overdrop, how come I can't see the video underneath this? Well, because I need to go over to the properties on the right and configure it to be an overdrop, blend. So I have to click on this with my right mouse button in the center of the strip, and I will click here under Blend, and I will select Overdrop. And there you go. Now we have an overdrop or an overlay over our video. Now you can make this as complex or simple as you like. And just to show you it in action, I will hit the play button, and you'll see that it's actually going over all the frames that I have selected it to cover. 
There we go. That's how you do it.